Welcome on board the Fontaine Pajot Le Pari 41 Maestro. My name is Carl Livett and I'm from MI Cats, the sole UK dealer for Fontaine Pajot catamarans and also Caribbean Multi-Holes, the official dealer for the Caribbean. Today I'm going to give you a short video tour of the inside of the Le Pari 41. Hopefully you might find this useful. Please feel free to ask any questions via email. Thanks for watching. So I'll start from the cockpit walking into the saloon. The first thing you'll notice is the one level floor between the two areas. This makes it exceptionally easy when moving between the two, especially at sea, there's no trip hazard. Moving forward into the saloon, you'll notice there's a great panoramic view with very large curved windows. This gives great light and airy feeling to the saloon, but also gives you a safe feeling when you're inside to be able to navigate. You've got almost a 360 degree view. You see two large uh, forward opening hatches for ventilation. Also on board this boat we've had the interior curtains fitted which you can see there and the chrome rail that runs all the way around. Down to the saloon seating. Plenty of seating with a large table. You will find underneath each end section of the uh, seating large storage compartments via lifting up the uh, cushions there. I'll move around to the port side, to so the chart table area, forward facing. As you can see here we've got a large chart plotter fitted. Also the uh, VHF and uh, Furuno multi-repeater. Below that, hopefully you can make this out, small stereo. Going to the left a little bit more, the uh, electronics. So you've got your fuel, water gauge, voltmeter, and your on-off switches for the 12 volt system. Below that, you've got a small chart table area for storage. Moving further around to the port hand side, and looking aft now, we've got the galley. As you can see there, you've got a standard uh, gas oven a standard three burner gas hob. This owner on, uh, on this Lepari has had the uh, 240, 220 volt uh, electric system added where you can see one of the sockets there. Many people do add a microwave in in this area, either 12 volt or um, 240 volt. Coming around now slowly to the sink area, we've got a double sink. The tap there is fresh water, but also uh, sea water for rinsing before washing. Behind that area there is a good drainage area. Um, as you can see, even great for when you're at sea for putting things down out of the way. A bit further to the left is the bin. Just uh, open up the top there. And to uh, access it underneath, where you're able to fit a full size bin liner, very easy, very practical, further storage underneath of course. Just give you a little bit of a view of some of the storage on the uh, galley area. As you can see underneath the sink a very large uh, locker, shelf, pots and pans can easily be stowed in there with plenty of room. Close that up. So that's the uh, kitchen area, I have storage above the oven as well. Coming round, obviously saloon door, looking outwards. Then across to where the uh, standard 12 volt uh, piano fridge is located on this boat. I'll open it up. As you can see it's very easy access uh, into the fridge because of the uh, piano lid. The advantage of this is it's a top loading fridge which means it retains the, uh, the uh, coldness very well um, but also with the piano lid it allows you to easy, easily access uh, the inside. You can see Fontaine Padre have fitted a number of baskets that slide along and obviously further down for uh, larger items. Small ice box fitted near the top. You can have a number of uh, configurations for that um, where you have a, a top loading freezer and a fridge mounted up above. More storage again through there, so slowly back round. That's looking now down into the owner's hull which is on the starboard side. Obviously you can see there's a door there that slides across. 
making our way down the steps. I'll pan round towards the aft first of all. As you can see a very large aft berth. Ventilation at the stern. Moving forward you'll also see a large deck hatch. Large panoramic window looking out to the starboard. Very good storage underneath this berth. I will just quickly show you how big the one of the drawers is. You have two drawers like this. So that's a very good size. Panning round now looking forward on the boat towards the bow. You've got two open cave lockers, uh, book storage there, small desk area. So as we move forward you can see the uh, emergency hatch located there on the inside of the hull. Again plenty of hanging storage. Moving forward into the heads compartment, separate shower compartment on the Lapari 41. A little bit difficult to show the, show you the uh, the space in here on this video. As we come in, sink. Looking back aft again now. Standard manual toilet that can be fitted with uh, electric heads um, as an upgrade. Additional storage. Just looking forward now, this is going right into the bow. There is access for storage. As you can see, plenty of storage. That can either be a single berth, which I'll show you in the port side at the moment, or left like this is a gel, uh, grey gel wash for general storage. Again, can be accessed via the deck. So coming back, looking aft again, moving back into the cabin. I'll now move across to the port side of the boat. As we go down the steps, I'll head aft first of all. Going into a very large double berth as you can see. Ventilation to the stern, up to the deck panoramic window of course. Storage underneath the berth, this time with an opening cave style rather than drawers. Storage on the outside of the hull, hanging locker just below. Turning facing forward now, behind the door, three large shelves. Moving towards the bow of the boat, we have the heads on the outside of the hull, so we'll now move into the heads compartment. Again, a little bit difficult to show you the size here, but we'll give it a go. So again, standard manual toilet, holding tank fitted this side, behind that white panel. And you can see the uh, three-way valve through that circular hole there. Looking aft in the heads compartment, this is the uh, shower area which is separated with this curtain, sink, mirror and again you have a frosted out deck hatch, smaller for ventilation. Moving forward now into the port four cabin, the final part of this video tour. As you can see before I move in, again large storage area underneath the berth. On the outside of the hull again, hanging space with a locker above. To the side of the berth again, additional storage. In this cabin you have forward area, um, there is a ventilation hatch as well as of course the deck hatch and the panoramic, panoramic window. I will just show you this port forward area, the bow section, because it has been fitted out by the factory as a single berth. Bear with me. So as you can see we've got the single mattress, wall lining. Here's we come in, there we go, you have a step 
a large deck hatch and there is an interior light there.